Hello, sports fans and football fans out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm here with another week of NFL picks. And in this particular case, it happens to be week 13. Week 12 is in the books with that uh, disaster of a Monday night football game between the Bears and the Vikings. And yes, I am a Bears fan, but I am calling it a disaster for a couple of reasons. One is that I had picked the Bears to lose that game, and they couldn't manage to even do that for me. And the second reason is that it was just a horrible game to sit through. I, I mean, the Bears won the game with without a touchdown. And that was the first time since, like, 1994 or something that the Bears or that any team had won a game without a touchdown. So, uh, yeah, they, I mean, the Bears, and I was 9-7 and seven last week. And this is the irony, I needed to be 10-6 and six to get me back to 60% for the season. I needed 10-6, and six, and the Bears said, no, no, we want to win. We want, for no good reason, they wanted to win, and they did. So, anyway, uh, with that having been said... That's my little soapbox on that situation. I was, as I say, 9-7, and seven, and you can see that on the screen. Um, and, uh, I mean, it, it started out, well, it's, it started out with the game one of the week terribly with the Lions game. I picked the Lions to win, and somehow they lost to Green Bay. But then I got the next three games right, and I was 3-1 and one going into the Sunday games. Or, yeah, going into the Sunday games. But, uh, yeah, and then the early afternoon games were, were pretty terrible for me, but then the late afternoon games were pretty good, and as I said, the Bears game was terrible. So, uh, with all of that having been said, we got to get on with our Week 13 picks. Now, this week the Bears, luckily for me, are on a bye. I think the Giants are too. Um, so we don't have a full slate of games I don't know how that generally uh, works out for me, but uh, we are going to go to our magic marker here. What are we going to do? Dark green? Are we going to do teal? We're going to go with dark green today. So we got the dark green marker um, ready to tell you who I think is going to win, and that's going to start with Thursday, November 30th. And the Thursday night game, and you got the Seahawks at the Cowboys. The Cowboys are playing great football. They look better than they did last year, and last year they were like 12 and 5. So, um, I mean, um, and the Seahawks have lost some games that. Eh, some people would say they probably should have won, or if you expect to be a playoff team. Or keep your playoff position, as I think they are in technically right now. You need to win. They didn't do it. Um, so I am going to go with the Cowboys here. I think the Cowboys are going to keep on a roll. There's no way at home in Dallas with the way that they're playing that they're going to lose to Seattle. Next one you got is the Colts and the Titans. Now, this is a divisional matchup. Uh, these teams probably don't like each other very much. The Titans are uh, under Mike Vrabel, and he always has them, well, people say that he always has them ready to play. I tend to doubt that myself, really. But the Colts are, they've won like three or four games in a row something like that, or three out of their last four. They're, they're playing really good football. They can smell the playoffs, and they really want it. And uh, I think they're going to get it, and I think that they are not, therefore, going to let the Titans upset that vision that they have of themselves as a playoff team. The next one you have is the Falcons at the Jets. The Falcons are going to New York to take on the Jets. The Jets have fallen on some hard times, i got to tell you. Uh, Wilson is just as bad as they thought he really was, and um, their offensive line is a mess. They have a, they have a good defense, but that defense is getting worn down by continually going out there and having to play 
uh, flawless defense because they have an offense that can't score for them. The Falcons, again, the Falcons are marching towards the playoffs. They have uh, playoff aspirations. They win. They win ugly a lot. But I'm still going to say that on the road, the Falcons are going to take down the Jets. Next one you got is the Lions and the Saints. Now, the Lions, of course, lost to Green Bay on Thanksgiving Day. We all thought that, you know, um, we thought that the Lions were going to be some kind of a juggernaut. A lot of people did. Hasn't really turned out quite like that. I mean, they're 8-3. and They have a good record. But uh, you can see some chinks in the armor with them. However, the Saints are just one big chink in the armor. They're just not good. So we're going to take the Lions to beat the... uh, to beat the Saints uh, in New Orleans. Um, you know, even though it's in New Orleans, they just don't have anything going on. They're not, they're not, at the start of the year, at least they played great defense, the Saints did, but not, they lately haven't even done that. Next one you got is the, the Broncos are visiting the Texans. Now, this is a tough one um, because the Broncos are on a roll. I mean, those that those boys are on a roll, and they are on a mission to get themselves to the playoffs, even though they started the year horribly. But the Texans are an upstart team. They, you know, um, C.J. Stroud is, I mean, he's, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, and this is his first year on a bad team. So, yeah, this is tough, and this is going to be in Houston. You know what? I'm going to go with I'm going to go with the Texans. I, I you know I think that the Broncos, as good as they've been, and as much as on a roll as they've been, and the Texans haven't because they've lost recently. I still think I'm going to go with the Texans there. Chargers at the Patriots. Now again, you have two teams here with with a lot of issues, and um, the uh, and you know and you've got. Potentially the best coach in the history of the NFL going up against potentially the, the worst coach in, I won't say the history of the NFL, but at least in the NFL right now in uh, Staley. Uh, but the Chargers have a much better team. They're much well, they're, they're far more well rounded than the Patriots are. Um, I would say that the Patriots. I don't even know if they've got an edge anywhere. I don't even know if they have a better defense, really, that I can say than the Chargers do. Although the Chargers did lose Bosa, I believe, for the for the remainder of the year. But with all of that said, I'm still going to take the Chargers because you know they got Herbert, they've got Eckler, they've they've got weapons. The Patriots don't have that. Next one you got is the Cardinals at the Steelers. Now the Steelers have gone back to their Winning ugly ways, winning with the great defense, stifling defense. An offense that was a little better last week, but still isn't like what you would call a good offense. And the Cardinals are pretty much still the Cardinals. I'm going to go with the Steelers. The Steelers are at home. They, they, Like I said, they've got a great defense. And the new offensive coordinator there seems to have stumbled onto something that at least for the initial week that he was the um, interim offensive coordinator has made the Steelers look a little better offensively. Next, you got the Dolphins at the Commanders. The Commanders are a shell of their, their really, they're a shell of something. And uh, they're not very good. They're playing in Washington, but... Um, and the Dolphins are much better at home than they are on the road. But I still think you're going to go with the Dolphins here. You're not taking Washington. The Commanders are, they've they just got problems. And, uh, you know, it's not good. It's not a good situation. Uh, you got the Panthers at the Buccaneers. Now, again, here we have two teams that are terrible. The Panthers are 1-10. And cost Frank Reich his job this week. Um, and the uh, Buccaneers are really not good either. I'm going to just go with the Buccaneers because they're home. And because, um, you know, 
Baker Mayfield is a little better than than Bryce Young. I mean, I don't know what to say about this game, except it's two bad teams playing each other, so take the home team. Uh, the 49ers at the Eagles. Now, this is on the other end of the spectrum. You've got potentially the two best teams in the NFL going up against each other. Um, the Eagles are at home. They are uh, like 9-1 and one or 10-1, and one, something like that. And uh, But don't be, don't be fooled by that. They've had their share of games that they almost lost, like last week to Buffalo. So, um, yeah, I mean, they could easily have lost that game, and there was any number of other games you could look at that they could have lost that they ended up winning. And you could look at the game that they did lose, which was to the Jets. I, I don't know what else you really need to know. I'm going to go with the 49ers, even though they're on the road. They, they're they fully healthy right now, as far as I know. Um, you know, Purdy, the system, everything is working. Everything is rolling along now because everyone's healthy and everyone's back. And so that machine is still running uh, on, you know, it's hitting on all cylinders. The Browns and the Rams. Um I am, you know, in this one, I'm taking the Rams. Uh, the Rams are the home team. The Browns, with that new quarterback that they've got, the guy with six names, I, I don't, that, their offense is just terrible. It's, it's, they're like the new Steeler offense now. So, um, I, I again, though, they do have a good defense. They're like the Steelers were a couple of weeks ago, but they're, I don't think they're going to beat the Rams. I think the Rams have enough weapons on offense and a good enough defense to stay ahead of the Browns in this game. Chiefs at the Packers. Now, this is a uh, rematch of Super Bowl One, as we all remember. We remember it fondly. I was only a few months old at the time, but, uh, you know, the new Chiefs and the new Packers are, well, I don't, <sighs> the Packers are at home here. They did manage to beat the Lions last week. Um, I, I, God knows how that happened. Um, I still don't think Jordan Love is, um, I don't think that he's he's back. I don't think that he's like, well, he never really was um I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, I don't think the I'm not that impressed with the Packers. The Chiefs seem to be getting better. Last week they got out of their usual MO of uh, scoring a bunch of points early and then just sitting back and watching the other team come back. That did not happen. In fact, last week the Chiefs got down early to the Raiders and came back and then kept coming back and kept coming staying ahead and they really they took it to the Raiders. So I am going to go with the Chiefs here. And then finally, you've got the Monday, December 4th game, the Monday night game. The Bengals and the Jags. The Jags are coming off a big, big win against the Texans last week. Um, the Bengals are coming off a crushing loss. And now, and they don't have Burrow, and the guy that's uh, stepping in for him, Jake something or other. I mean, that guy doesn't look all that great. He's okay, I guess he's okay. But a lot of the teams around the league are finding if you've just got an okay quarterback, you don't have a quarterback. So um, I am going to go with the Jags at home. I think they're going to win this one. So let's do a quick recap of these games. I've got the Cowboys at home beating the Seahawks. I've got the Colts on the road beating the Titans. The Falcons taking down the Jets. i got the Lions on the road beating the Saints. I've got the Texans at home over the Broncos. And that's a tough decision there. i got the Chargers beating the Patriots. The uh, Steelers beating the Cardinals in Pittsburgh. The Dolphins on the road beating the Commanders. The Buccaneers uh, beating the uh, Panthers. The 49ers taking down the Eagles, although I expect it to be a very good game. 
the Rams at home over the Browns, the Chiefs on the road over the Packers, and the Jags at home over the Bengals. But what do you guys think? Let me know what you uh, think in the uh, comments comment section below. Um, what games do you differ with me on? Um, how do you like my picks? Whatever kinds of comments you want to leave. But that is going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.